Welcome back. I'm Jim. I'm Chloe. And we are this and that. And we have another request that came in. This was for uh, Dwight Yoakam, I think. Dwight Yoakam. All right. Well, I think we've have, we've heard something from Dwight. Have we? No? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm probably confusing him with, oh, I'm confusing him with, uh, excuse me, Alan Jackson. <laughs> okay. For some reason, I don't know. For some reason, the two of them look like the same to me in my mind's eye. But oh, okay, all right. No, I mean I I've heard of Dwight Yoakam. So have I. Okay. I've never heard anything that he has done. I probably have, and just don't recall it. Yeah, so I can tell you, I never have. What's the title of this one? I sang Dixie. Well, mm -hmm. this sounds like a good old Southern mm -hmm. uh, song. It'd be interesting to mm -hmm. listen to the the, the lyrics and. And the request is from Sandra Lorenz. All right. Thank you, Sandra. So, um, yeah, like I said, I've never heard anything by Dwight Yoakam. So, you know, I think I have, but I couldn't tell you what the I name mean, of the he song had a lot of hits or. Well, I think he was popular. Was he? Okay. Yes. Now, how long ago? I don't know. Yeah. He could have been popular 10 years ago or he could have been popular 20 years ago. No, I think he, I, I remember the name. In it. I mean, it was like in the 80s, I want to say. Oh, okay. Mid to early 80s. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that was about the time that his name was coming out a lot. But I'd never heard him sing. I just knew he was country, and so I said, next. See what you missed? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you've been uh, living in that cave too I'm very long. biased about country music, but. Well, okay. <laughs> I was. Yeah. But we've, been, we've heard a bunch of good country <laughs> songs, so have it with We have. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the little red button in the corner. We'd appreciate it. Absolutely. That's all he says. Fight your family and friends. Like you. I asked Dwight myself to sing this song because I like it so much. <laughs> it's a song that he wrote. And, uh, in fact, it was number one after uh, Streets of Bakersfield. And I think it's, it's a great song. And, and I know you heard it. But I don't know if you heard it quite like this. It's just him and, and his guitar, and that's the way I asked him to do it. And it's, it's called Dixie. Now, you need to listen really close to the words because they're, they're, it's really a magnificent song. Dwight, ready. Thank you, Buck. Actually, I wrote this uh, after I'd been in L.A. a few years, and uh, I'd been out there. My brother had come out to visit, and we were wandering around Hollywood one night and saw some stuff go on that, that, that kind of... Disturbed both of us, and a week or so later, I, I was home and I, I started writing this. And it turned out to be a pretty good one for me. Number one's pretty good. I sang Dixie as he died. People just walked on by as I cried. So I sang Dixie as he died. He said, Away down yonder in the land of cotton, old times that ain't as rotten as they are on this damned old LA street. Then he drew a dying breath And laid his head against my chest Please, Lord, take his soul Back home to Dixie For some reason, I have heard this somewhere at some point in time. That was uh, Buck Rogers, I think is his name. Oh, the guy uh, the next other to him. guy. Yes, the other guy. This is something... Uh, this would, would be something I would uh, hear on the Grand Ole Opry, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, way back when. Mm -hmm. But uh, interesting song. You know. Yeah, his voice is not what I thought it would be. I thought he would have, I don't know why, I mean, I've never heard him speak, but I thought he would have a higher pitch voice for some reason. Yeah, it's a little twangy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, more than a little twangy. Maybe yeah. uh, it's a lot twangy. But... Years when this came out, a, a lot of the voices were twangy mm -hmm. because they were all coming out of this deep south, mm -hmm. and that was the country music style. Mm 
Mm-hmm. So it, it'd be interesting to see where this goes and mm-hmm. just to listen to it and see what I we have. Dixie. So it's I sang Dixie. As he died. People just walked on by as I cried. The bottle had run up him of all his rebel pride. So I sang Dixie as he died. He said, Listen to me, son, while you still can. Run back home to that southern land, don't you see what life here has done to me? Then he closed those old gray eyes and fell limp against my side, no more pain. Now he's safe back home in Dixie. I sang Dixie as he died. People just walked on by as I cried. The bottle had run up him of all his rebel pride. So I sang Dixie. As he died Yeah, I sang Dixie As he died The White is your song Great job, thank you, thank you. Buck Owens You know what I'm saying? Buck Rogers? Mm-hmm. Probably Buck Owens, I think, was his name mm-hmm. The other good gentleman uh, again, it's that classic years gone by Southern song. So, but he said he witnessed this when he was in Los Angeles. So he in witnessed LA. someone dying, obviously. Obviously, yes. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, that whoever was dying at the time was saying, you know, go back to the Southern land to see what this, what this has done to me, mm-hmm. uh, that sort of thing. So... Yeah, you know, a lot of people take offense to the song Dixie. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. It's just a simple song, nothing mm-hmm. elaborate about it. But, yeah, no, uh, decades gone by song. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like his yeah. nice. Yeah, it's okay. I, yeah. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't know if he has any other songs. I would imagine he does. Dwight Yoakam. Yes. And, again, this, the, the voice and the lyrics mm-hmm. fit the time. Yeah. That it was done. Mm-hmm. So I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed listening to it. And it, w- it was amazing w- when he was singing it, how quiet the crowd was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, yeah. I, I kind of ex- was waiting for people to start singing along. But maybe they were so respectful of the song mm-hmm. and where they were located and that sort of thing. Yeah. It could have been in, at the Grand Ole Opry stage or something like that. You know, with the Ryman Theater. It, yeah. It, I, I would like to cool. know what uh, happened to Dwight Yoakam. You don't hear anything about him anymore. No, but I'm sure uh, that came from who? Sandra? Sandra. Sandra, excuse me, Sandra. Uh, <laughs> maybe she knows of, so, uh, you know, a couple other songs that, yeah. you know, send them to us and we'll, we'll try to get them up and listen to them and mm-hmm. See where we go with those. So until the next time, I'm Jim. I'm Claudie. And we're this and that. Till then, see ya. Bye.